people say, well, his style is going to make him difficult. This style, no, it's not the style that matters. It's the morale behind the style that matters. It's the intention and the fierceness and the malice and the, the contempt to hurt. He was too emotional. When I watched him, when, I, when he came in the ring, the first time I stepped in the ring, I looked at his face and I saw he was too emotional. I said, there's no way he's going to win. I was telling my trainer, I said, he's going to lose tonight. Hello. When we look at Kennedy Golovkin's style, he's very in your face, very high pressure yet calm, calculated and methodical, but as a result, many of us overlook that malice, that insane killer intent he has in his eyes when he throws a punch. You would never guess such an ordinary looking man could have so much intent to destroy emanating from his soul, but that's who he is. The ordinary man is a guise hiding a bottomless chasm of wrath he only feels comfortable letting out when the moment arises. If you pair that with a calm mind, solid technique, he has been given the foundation to hit with an effective kinetic chain. And then for a moment he lights a match, drops it on his fury and it explodes into his opponent's face. The Ying in Yang is why I believe Kennedy is being renowned as the Mike Tyson of the middleweight division. His fury is unseen and unexpected. You actually would never expect it at first glance, but it's there. His eyes, they hold unparalleled wrath. Spirit, as Musashi would call it. Science could break it down into chemicals released in the brain, testosterone, adrenaline. Who really knows? There's so much more to learn in this regard that it's safe to say no one really knows anything. All I know is that when you believe your fist will obliterate your opponent. When you feel it will, that feeling shows in your eyes. It cannot be hidden to anyone who's paying attention. And that feeling will make you hit harder. I know a football tackle will deliver more force if you believe it will travel through your opponent. And to that end, Mike Tyson believing his fist will travel to the other side of his opponent's skull resonated with this philosophy as well. So. All of this being said, what does it mean? Gennady Golovkin, the unquenchable wrath he emanates from his eyes proves that the way you feel about yourself has tangible effects on reality. It affects other people, it affects the world. And if you want something in life, first check the way you feel about yourself. If you want to demolish your opponent, ensure your mind is calm, but in your fist believe you hold an atomic bomb. And when it comes, drop that bomb and believe your spirit will not only demolish your opponent, but bring the whole place down. To that end, I hope you realize the way you feel about yourself is very important. Whether you want to cook a dish, write a book, your workouts at the gym, or want to demolish the opponent before you. Remember, it starts in the heart, it starts in the mind, and to that end, Brothers, Mind Smash gives you permission to believe in yourself. Believe in every ounce of your fiber, in your being, regardless of what facet of life you live in. If you're a gamer, if you're a healer, a lover, or a warrior, do not start by seeking from the outside. Start by seeking within. And as your soul howls with trust and conviction, you too will rock the world as Kennedy Golovkin's fist does. Welcome to the Era of the Mind, brothers. It all starts here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.